Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss how to set up the environment for running Keysight contributed cases in Sony community. These cases generally use Keysight hardware for high precision measurements. Measurements such as convergence, buffering, queuing and lot others can be done using Keysight hardware along with rich feature set using Keysight software. First, we have to deploy Keysight API server for running these tests. We can use already existing IX network software if it is reachable from the testnet server from where we are going to run the test. If you want to have it installed inside the same testbed server, we can do it by two ways. One is by running the script in Sonic management framework and the other is by deploying it manually. First, we have to download the IX network API server docker image. So this is the location from where we can download different versions of IX network software. Once it is downloaded, the location needs to be set in the docker registry file. So this is the docker registry file where we have to set the location. If the docker registry file is not set, then we have to create a folder named keysight underscore images in home directory and then copy the image to that folder. After that, we have to add an entry in testbed CSV file. For PDF image name, we have to specify the Docker Keysight API server so that it triggers the IX network API server deployment. For example, to add a new testbed example hyphenxia, we have to use this command. To remove the Keysight API server Docker image, we have to specify this command along with this tag. If we don't specify the remove keysight api server tag, it is not going to uninstall the keysight api server. For manual deployment, have the ix network tar file downloaded and copy it to the testbed server. Make sure that the management interface has promiscuous mode enabled. Decompress the file and then load the image to the docker. The docker image will be loaded with this name. After that, create Mac VLAN bridge, which is going to be used by the IX network API server. Specify the subnet address along with the gateway. Once the bridge is created, verify the status by using these commands. The commands are already specified for each steps. To run the Docker, use this command. Once the Docker has been started, we can launch it by using the browser with the IP address. Let's look at the Keysight testbed which is defined under Sonic management. This is the single DUT topology. The testbed server consists of Sonic management Docker along with IX network API server Docker, which in turn is connected to XR chassis along with Sonic Duds. Both XR chassis and Sonic Duds have physical links connected. More details about these topologies can be found in the space. The cases which are contributed to the Sonic community currently uses single Dud topology. Let's look at the workflow to run the tests in Sonic testbed with IX network. First, we have to load the Sonic management docker and inside the container, clone the fork version of Sonic management and then clone the docs repo. We have to update these below files. First, we have to update the PTF IP in testbed.csv file. So this is the PTF IP along with the PTF name. So this IP is nothing but the IX network API server IP address. After that, we have to update the Ansible hosts under this file. So this is nothing but the Sonic DAT. Here we have to specify the XCR chassis and then here 
we have to specify the IX network APS or IP address. After that, we have to specify the connections in Sony connection graph. So here we can see that this is the XHRC and here we have specified the Sonic DAT and along with the XI APS server. Here are the connection info. Here we can see that the XI card related info here along with the Sonic DAT info. And this is the link speed which we are going to use. Here we have to specify the XIA chassis IP. Next, we have to update the links in Snappy Sonic link file. Here, these are the links which we are going to use. After that, we have to specify the IP addresses in Sonic devices. So this is the XIA chassis IP and this is the Sonic DAT and this is the IX network API server. After that we have to specify the password and address details under this particular file. Once the files have been updated, we have to go to this particular location and we have to run this cell script. The cell script is nothing but it is going to copy the modified files to the Sonic management repo. Here we can see that it is going to copy all those modified files to the Sonic management repo. We can see here that the files has been copied to this Sonic management repo. For running a test, first we have to go to Sonic management tests folder and then export these environment variables. So we go to Sonic management tests folder and then export the environment variable. After that, we can use this command to run a test script. Snappy related test case can be found under this particular location. Here, these are the set of the cases which we have defined under Snappy. Here we have BGP convergence related test cases. And here we have ECN. And then for PFC, we have these cases defined and PFC watchdog. These are the list of the cases. Let's look at the prerequisites for running BGP convergence cases. It is recommended to use clean configuration with IP and IPv6 addresses configured on the Ethernet interfaces, which are already defined. Here we can see the IP and IPv6 addresses are already defined. So you can see that the IP addresses are all different on these interfaces. Similarly, you can see that the IPv6 addresses are also configured. Let's look at the test cases. So these are the test cases which are defined under the BGP to measure the BGP convergence. So here we can measure the BGP convergence for a local link failure or a BGP remote link failure or for ribbon capacity and ribbon convergence. For this particular demo, we will look at local link failure scenario. So here we can specify the parameters. Here the multipath is nothing but the number of PCMP links. And here how many number of iterations we want to run this test. We can specify the number of routes here. For this particular test we are going to advertise 4000 IPv4 routes. 
Similarly, we can specify the route type. If you wanna advertise IPv4 routes or IPv6 or both. And here we have to specify the link speed. So this is the command to run the local link to our test case. The test case details and the test methodologies are already covered in Sonic meetings or you can find it in a separate video which is already posted. Here we can see that the test is getting configured. Meanwhile, we can see a previously run log. Here we can see the, the interfaces are configured, port channels are configured, and after that it is configuring the BGP. So once the configurations are done, it will configure the XASI configurations as well. After that, it will start the levels and they refer for the BGP membership. Once the sessions are established, we will start the traffic and then we will see everything is running fine. And the traffic is equally being distributed as we are running this link. So once the traffic is running fine, we will cut down one of the local link. Here in this case, we are cutting down the test port 2. So once we cut down the link, the traffic will be routed back or rebalanced to the other available paths. Here in this case, we have one more path, so it will route the traffic back to the other path. Here we can see for advertising 1000 routes, we are getting 212 milliseconds as the convenience time. Similarly, if we do the uh, cut down the other link, we will see 246 milliseconds as the convenience time. Let's look at the prerequisites for running PFC tests. Before running any PFC test, we have to run the pretest, which is located under Sonic Management Tests folder. Here, we are under the Sonic Management Tests folder, and here we have to run the pretest. It will run some tests and configure the settings accordingly. In order to run the PFC watchdog test, we have to enable default password status in config.db file and then reload the config before running any PFC WD cases. This is how we can run these cases which require keysight hardware and do high precision measurement. Hope this video gives much needed information on how to run these tests. Thank you.